What is up, guys? Welcome to episode four of the Why You Suck at Jujutsu Show. You know, you can. I grabbed my friend John instead of Robert this time because John sucks even more than Robert and I figured it would make more sense, right? Yes. If I... <laughs> <That's true. laughs> so what we're going to do is today we're going to talk about one of the biggest struggles for people, not just in jujitsu, but in life. And that is passing the knee shield, right? That's probably one of the toughest things that you deal with in your day-to-day -day life, right? It's tough. Everyone hates it. It's a really tough position. And um, I show some more dynamic stuff in, uh, I have a knee cut course with BGG Fanatics. I show some more dynamic stuff in knee cut through this knee shield position. But I thought it would be better if I showed you one of the simplest passes that you probably already know, and then a really simple concept that you don't know to smash the knees together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have John put me in knee shield, okay? So the problem with the typical smash pass from knee shield, you know, we're fighting this, is people think of, you know, maybe they'll grab or they'll push down and they think, oh, I'm gonna smash the guy this way. The problem with this is, even if I was holding onto his knee, if John started to pull his knee to his chest, he can open his leg very easily. He opens his leg, I can't use this position to pass. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go with my weave, we're gonna grab his thigh, and watch this. Instead of pushing down with my chest, I'm gonna actually turn my chest out, and it's super, super strong here. If he starts trying to pull his knee to his chest, I can even grab if I need to, but usually you won't need to. But by turning my chest away, I'm able to smash. Now the problem with this is, it's easy to open the legs, but it's hard to actually finish the pass. So to open the legs, I'll usually post my hand far enough to where I'm not getting kimura. If I'm up here, I'm in a kimura, right? If I'm back, I'm a lot safer. And so as I start to smash, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass his feet and then I'm going to walk him flat, okay? So as we walk flat, I push through, we're on his hips, okay? So it's uh, in this position. If you were to bridge, you would actually create a ton of space. So we have to be really tight on our hug. We go head and we slide up to get our smash. Just a different angle for you guys. As we play from this side, we're right here. John is doing a good job. I'm going to turn my chest downwards. From here, we start to sprawl. And then as I walk, I walk him flat. I hug his head, and I get my underwear. And that is a really simple way to smash the knee shield. You should try it on your training partners. I know this is a position that most people struggle with. If you are struggling with a different pass, I would love to know a different uh, guard that you can't get around or smash or whatever you're trying to do to that guard. I would love to know what guard you're struggling with. Uh, you can leave that in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please, Give it a thumbs up. And if you want a little more, you enjoyed the video? I enjoyed it. Awesome. If you want a little more information on simplifying your jujitsu, there is going to be a link in the description here where I'm going to uh, give you a free ebook. And the ebook is called Simplifying Jiu Jitsu. We take the five essential positions of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the five positions that 90% of Jiu Jitsu happens in, and we teach you how to train them. And you're able to cover 90% of Jiu Jitsu in under six months.